so the first thing you do is you head to your web browser in the search bar you type x360 ce download click on the first link you click the this one the download for all games if your game is a 64 bit or 32 you can but i recommend the all games i've already downloaded it so let me move to the next step So when it's done, you should. But first of all, before you launch it, you should head to the start button and type "set up USB game controllers." Then you should see your controller appearing here. Double click it and make sure that all your buttons work. If all your buttons work, then you are good to go. You can move on to the next step. So in this step, now we're going to configure the controller itself using the X360 application. Okay, so launch it. Run. So I've configured mine already but you won't see us here so let me read through the process so the first thing you see is this you have to add your device your controller so you click on add and you should see your controller mine is this one the usb gamepad and it should be green showing that it's connected to the system so you select it then you click on as selected your controller appears here so now you have to configure your controller to make sure that it's actually hitting the right buttons so that it won't be misconfigured in the game so you can do it manually you click on the trigger you press the trigger you click on a button and you press it likewise on your controller so you do it for all your buttons and you have to recheck and make sure that everything you press corresponds to whatever you are pressing here. So when you are done, you save all. And then you move to the next step. And in step 3, you are going to add your game, which is in this case the FIFA 23. So you click add game. And you head to the location of your game wherever your game is located when you are done then you click open so i've already done that you should see your game appearing here then from there you click this drop down select the game and move on to your controller and make sure that you configure all your buttons are configured that when you press it it makes a movement you see the movement appear here. You make sure you do that for all your buttons, right stick included. Make sure that everything works. If everything works here, then it must surely work in the game. So when you are done with this, you click save all. Then we move to the next step. And in the final step, you should simply launch a game and enjoy. But you should see the x application appearing here that shows it's running and it's emulating it as an X xbox d controller so this method works for ucom controllers ps4 controllers and even xbox controllers wireless or wired they all work so don't forget to like subscribe and comment and if you face any issues comment below so that i can help you out so thank you